up YouTube, how's it going? It's the Assassinator here playing some Hacknet and we're getting right into the action. We gotta create our username. Let's go with UCOG because we can and then we'll make a password which I'm hiding from you guys. And that should do everything. Let's get booted up into our computer because I know this is a hacking game because of the title. So, let's see how this goes. Get now computer booted up like the old fashioned way. This looks very old fashioned actually. <coughs> Twelve day timer expired. Initializing failsafe. Twelve day? That's fourteen day. Hi, this is strange. Stranger than I expected. I guess I'm supposed to write this in past tense, though I hardly feel like admitting it's over. My name is Bit, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. Hmm, interesting start. Initializing. Well, there's a terminal. Everything's going on here. Initialization complete. Tutorial. As of right now, you are at risk. Learn, it, learn as quickly as possible. Begin the tutorial sequence by pressing the continue button below. Connect to a computer by typing connect IP in the terminal or by clicking on the map node on the network map. Connect to your own computer on the map now by pressing the oh, uh, by clicking the green circle. So this is supposed to be my computer. Oh, you cock PC. Haha, <laughs> nice. Good work. The first thing to do on any system is to scan it for adjacent nodes. This will reveal more computers on your map that you can use. Scan this computer now by pressing the scan no network button on the display module. That should be all you'll need from your own servant for now. Disconnect from your machine. Uh, yes, disconnect. It's time for you to connect to an outside computer. Be aware that attempting to compromise the security of another's computer is illegal under the USC Act uh, 1030 18. Proceed at your own risk and connect to an outside machine by clicking a blue node on the network map. Uh, Octovision Inc. Alright. <clears throat> this VM's terminal module has been activated. This will be your primary interface for navigating and interacting with nodes. A command can be run by typing it uh, by typing it out and pressing enter. A computer security system and open ports can be analyzed using the probe or nmap. Command analyze the computer you are currently connected to. So type in probe, I believe. Here you can see the active ports, active security, and the number of uh, the number of ports required to successfully crack this machine using port hack. This machine has no active security and requires no ports to crack. If you are prepared to, it is possible to crack this computer using the uh, using the program port hack. Run the program port hack. All right, uh, port. Congratulations, you have taken control of an external system. Oh, that's cool. And are now its administrator. You can do whatever you like with it. However, you should start by scanning for local nodes. <coughs> to locate additional computers, do this using the scan command. Scan. Uh, stuff I'm typing is in the terminal down here, if you guys didn't see. <coughs> oh god, cough bad. Cough cough very bad. No results, not a problem. Next, you should investigate the, s the file system. List the files and folders in the current directory. Uh, how would I do that? View file system? I believe so. Navigate to the bin folder, binaries folder, to search for ex useful executables 
using the command cd folder name. Note the space. cd bin. Ah, there we go. Uh, to view the contents of the folder you are in, use the command ls. This, there are no programs here, but you should look at config text in case it contains useful information. Uh, let's try ls first, because I can just click on it. Config.txt. Nope, didn't work. Alright, let's just click on it. Totally useless. Now, to clear tracks before you leave, move up a folder in the directory tree using cd double dot. Note the wildcard double dot indicates back or up. <coughs> uh, cd double dot. Boom. Move to the log folder. cd filename. cd log. Delete all in. Uh, delete all files in this directory. You can delete a file using the command rm file name. However, you can delete all files in the current directory with the command rm. I forget what that's called. Anyway, note the wildcard indicates all. all right. rm all. Excellent work. Disconnect from this computer. You can do this using the dc or disconnect command. I like using dc because it's shorter. Congratulations, you have completed the guided section of this tutorial. To finish it, you must locate the process ID of this tutorial, program, and kill it. The help command will give you a complete command list at any time. Let's check it out then. Alright. Command list page one of three. Oh wow. Help page number, display specific page commands, SCP file. Copies files named file name from remote machine to specified local folder. And bin by default. Scan. We know what scan does. And RM. We know what RM does. PS. List all lists current running processes and their PIDs. Wait. The PID. All oh, the processes ID. Okay. So PS. I reckon that would help. Um. So PID is 111. Uh, kill PID. Kill process number. Uh, so let's try that. Kill 111. Ah, sweet. Oh, what's that? Can I click on it? Oh, I can click on it. Bit. First contact. Hi. I don't know you, and I'm sad to say that I will. I never will. But if you're reading this, it means you might be the only person that can make things right. Right now, I'm trapped. There's no way out, and not enough time, and I need your help. But there's something you need to take care of first. The, fast to, the faster the better. Hackernet OS wasn't meant to be released as it is now. After a while, an, automatic, an automated tra tracker will activate itself. We can't let that happen. Connect to your own node. It should be green on your net map. Then find and delete the security tracer. When you're done, just simply re uh, just reply to this email. Hurry, bit. Uh, Hacknet navigate. Uh, use display. Yeah, da 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 da. The tab key can be used to order complete commands and file names. Oh, that can be hel helpful. <coughs> Let's close that. Let's connect to our computer. Uh, view our own file system. Dash, nothing. Miscellaneous, nothing. Notes, also nothing. Logs, shouldn't care about that. Bin. Ah, oh, there we go, security tracer. Let's get rid of that crap. Remove all. That should be it. Uh, oh, Jmail. Wow. A for real. Fine. Login. No. Oh. Wait, my password is password? It. Are you kidding me? I mean, I would never have a Jmail account have that password. This is just barbaric. It's retarded, man. Alright, well I did what you wanted me to do. Just can't type in anything. Additional details. Done. Getting some tools together. Great, that should keep you safer now. At least 
from your own computer. Beware, uh, before we start, you're going to need a few things. Port hack alone isn't going to cut it on most modern computers. You'll find not ones with anything worth looking at anyway. You should start by checking up on a friend of mine. He goes by Viper. Awful. I know. He's honestly not the brightest crown in the box, but he always seems to get a hold of useful code. You should have no trouble getting into his files. Finding something useful might be a bit much of a challenge. You can for the most part ignore the generic files, stuff that gets logged or saved by a program, IRC logs and the and the like. Custom made things like .exe files are what you want to look out for. Download any files you can use using the SCP oh, using the command SCP. Yeah, we, so we saw that earlier. Good luck, reply again when you're done. Bit. Uh, right. Quick reference sheet. <coughs> uh, quick reference guide. Probe, analyze systems, port hack to break into active security, scan, JSON nodes, clear logs, download files, SCP. Yep, I think we covered with that. Alright, oh, a link. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Uh, probe. Uh, zero ports required to crack. Alright, let's port hack this baby. <coughs> the animation on that looks really cool. Password found. Sweet. Let's go check this stuff. Oh, scan first. Oh, there's something over here. Entropy asset cache. Uh, home, work, just blog. You got those keys I asked for. You got the cash. Yeah, who cares about that? Uh, other notes, stuff, in my draft. Yeah, we don't care about that. Bin. Oh, what's this? SCP. S S H. Crack. Dot exe. Wait, what does that do? Oh, well, I got something. Alright, what now? Maiden Flight. Congratulations, I honestly have no way of knowing if you succeeded in this responder, but if you're seeing this, it means you at least found something. I'm going to assume it's something really useful. You should try breaking one of my old test servers, if Viper had the sort of thing he he's known for getting laying around, <clears throat> you should have everything you need to get it. Remember, any non-basic programs you get need a port number to run like this. SSH crack, so that's the file name, 22, which is the port number. Hang on, let's check that out. Uh, let's type in probe. Oh, this is a port. Oh, that's 22. So that's what it's used on. Let's just try that out real quick. SSH crack 22. Whoa, now that's cool. So it's like trying to break into it or something? Oh, it is. Oh, sweet. So it's unlocked. And that's an open port now. Okay. Alright, let's check out the email again. Just find a port you want to crack and run it on that. Oh, and in case you don't know already, you can hit tab to autocomplete commands hitting SSH, then tab should autocomplete it to the full name, etc. Works on everything. Oh, oh crap, I forgot about that. That should, that should just start doing that. Use probe to see what ports are open, target one with the program, and target the correct port. SSH, file name, port number, breaking sufficient ports, leaves the target vulnerable to security breach using port hack. Okay. Whoa, that's really close to Jmail. It's over here though. I'm gonna check that out real quick. Probe. Close that. A firewall. Oh, looks scary. I'll just step back away from that for a second. Alright, uh, let's break in this one instead. <coughs> oh, requires one 
what to crack first. All right, let's just do this, baby. SSH tab 22. Yeah, baby. And then port hack to break in, I believe. Yep, got it. Um, oh, I need to scan. Scan anything around? Nope. Um, what are local ports? Yeah, crap. Test file. Yeah, no one cares about that. Logs are always the same. Bin. Nope, nothing. Nothing at all. Alright, let's get out of here. Disconnect DC. Um, yeah, I think we did it. Alright, something in return. Nice work. Here's where it's going to start getting harder. Oh, yay. I need to ask a favor. I've been a little sloppy lately which is what got me in this whole mess. It's why I'm writing this in the first place, I guess. Anyway, the point is, there's some logs on a few computers that I prefer, I prefer weren't there. You, remember, uh, you should remember this. If you forget everything else I tell you, don't get sloppy. Delete your logs. If you haven't been, start now. Everything you do on any modern OS is tracked and logged in the log folder. Just go in there and remove all the whole thing, never forget to. Uh, so we'll press delete all logs in the computer. Da -da 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 -da. Yep, I gotcha. Andrew's bedroom. Why would you call your computer bedroom? It sounds creepy as hell. Right, so let's probe this bad boy. One port required to crack, SSH tab 22. Yeah, let's run that crack sequence. Yeah. Actually, I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to call it a sequence for now. Alright, let's scan for anything around. Nope. Let's go check files, work documents, personal. Crap, I don't care about work. Port email draft. Nothing close to get leads. Laptop was stolen at convention. Contained the dozier reports. I copied the most likely one over here. Was sure I had. We'll submit with detail on what we found soon. Right, that didn't matter at all. all right, let's get into the logs. Whoa. Yeah, I don't, I don't like those logs being there, and I don't like my logs being there. Let's get rid of all that stuff. Yeah, so, RM... Wait, oh, that's an asterisk, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's an asterisk symbol. symbol. Anything in the bin, because bin seems to be interesting. Nope, let's just get out of here. DC... I'm out. Something in return. We finished that. Let's move on. Alright, well, I think this is a good time to end the video. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed Hacknet so far, and I'll see you guys in the next video.